Hey guys, so, um, I used to have an account, it was, um, Gymnast by 1011, but, uh, got the passage back, I think someone passed it, I'm not sure. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, but, I'm talking to you about something really serious. It's like the most serious thing in the world. Talk about it. It's all over. Is bullying. Um, this, this is the worst thing that could ever happen. Twelve kids and every four seconds they're bullied. Cyber bullying. Verbal bullying. Physical, mental. A whole bunch of other ones. The kids do. Um, I just want to talk a little bit. Okay. So, well, physical now. That's worse than cyber. Almost as worse as cyber. Um, and way worse than cyber. Okay, uh, the music, okay. Of verbal, it's verbal and physical. There it is. Okay, well, I recently transferred to a different school because how bad it was. I got at school for seven years. I'm sorry. I got at school for seven years. In grade one, two, grade seven, so you know, okay. And um, every day for life, every day at school, I'll get one for dressing the way I dress, two for not being cool. I'm gonna tell you something right now. Life. Isn't about being cool, being popular, wearing fucking thousand dollar pants, okay? It's about getting by in life, getting a good grades, and knowing that what you did is the right thing, okay? Like, so, anyway. So like, you go through all those years of getting picked on and, and everything, sorry, <laughs> and you don't do anything about it, it kind of gets to you. Like, I know some people, sorry. Who have cut themselves, who have committed suicide because of bullying. It needs to stop. Do you really want to be the one who killed that person for not having that many friends or addressing that way or because they talked a certain way? Would you really want them to kill themselves? Because of that. And to know that you were the one who did it. How, how could people live with themselves when they feel like, like, I just don't get it. It's so horrible. It's just horrible, okay? No joke. Okay? Um. So anyway. Seven years of bullying in school. Never done. And then the day I transferred to the school, everything was fine. No one bullied me. I got a chance to meet, meet new people. And, you know, it's just, like, it's just like a brand new start. It's like when you move to a new house or a new country, it's a new start, right? So it's like that. And then this is like a verbal thing. Okay? Well, I go home for lunch, so when I'm walking back, 
with my friend um to lunch for school. That my classmates, my from my old school, were outside having recess, like all of them. So when we walked by, they were like, "Oh, it's you. Why are you ditching school?" No, I'm not ditching school. I go to a new school now. And like, yeah, you're the know, liar. And then they went on like throwing stones, which it's not nice, obviously, but. So we went on with that. Okay. Sorry, I'm kind of some stuff too, so. So. We went on with that. No, I mean physical. I'm sorry. I meant physical abuse. I'm sorry. Physical. So we started throwing stuff at me. You know, like that. I didn't do anything because I'm not going to do that back. That's just horrible. So. I just kept on walking. Then when the verbal comes in, he started saying I was fat and that like I wasn't like smart and everything, and then I was ugly and everything. So after that, mm, I started to change. I started not eating, cutting myself. And avoiding everybody. That leads to nothing. I I got I ended up with scars. Getting really sick. And depression. It's not a nice thing to get bullied. So why do it? Like people who think they're cool, okay? Cool people are just like, huh. well, they're not popular, so I'm going to click on them. So, they do, and then one word leads to another, and another, and another, and another, until you actually make them kill themselves. Because what you say to them comes over and over in their head, non stop. They have to go home with what you say. They have to look every day with what you say and what you do to them. Okay. They don't talk to nobody about it. Because what you probably said, and one of those things was, if you tell your anybody about this, I'll hurt you. So, the person that's being scared doesn't do it. Because they know what will happen to them. So they don't do it. All those emotions bottled up inside leads to suicide. And that's just horrible. You people who do that and who are watching this, thinking this is a joke, I hope you go to hell. No joke. That is so horrible that you would do that to a person who is just like you but is different in their own special beautiful way no one is perfect no one will ever be perfect god or jesus isn't even perfect okay so get over yourselves okay bullying isn't cool and never will be. Can we continue going through with that? May the thought be going through your head that if they kill themselves, it's not because of their selves, it's because of you. And to all you who are getting bored, I know what it feels like. I still know what it feels like, because sometimes I still do. Stand up for yourself. Don't quit say things that will make them fight back even more, though. Say, stop it, and leave me alone, and say, nobody's perfect. So I'm that, you probably realize it.
but to everyone who is watching this, you are beautiful. You are. And if you think you're not, go ask the person sitting next to you. Go ask your mom. Go ask your dad. Go ask your brothers and sisters. Go ask anyone, okay? Go ask your friends. They all think you're beautiful. Don't let one, one word the people say to you hurt you, okay? Because I do think you're beautiful. Anyone who's watching this, I'm not saying that. Unless you're a bully, then I don't think you are at all. But, okay, I do think you're beautiful and you will get through this. Okay? I promise you. Be strong, okay? If anyone has any questions to ask me, I'm always there, okay? So, stay strong because you are beautiful and you will get through it.